Mamalodi Sundowns head coach Mankoba Mungithi has provided an encouraging update on the squad's fitness ahead of their MTN8 semi-final first-leg clash against Stellenbosch FC. With the exception of Keegan Johannes and Ronwin Williams, the team is in great shape as they prepare to battle for a spot in the final. As Sundowns aim to end a two-year drought since their last Wafa Wafa Cup victory in the 2021 Taka 22 season, Munkithi is optimistic about his squad's readiness. Reflecting on their previous triumph, a tense 3-2 win on penalties against Cape Town City after a 1-1 draw, Sundowns are determined to reclaim the title this year. In Monday's MTN8 press conference, Mankithi expressed his satisfaction with how the new signings have adapted to life at Sundowns. Almost all the new signings have shown good mentality, Mankithi shared, noting that the players have integrated well into the squad and are ready to contribute in the upcoming match. Whether they start or come off the bench, Mankithi is confident in the depth and quality of his squad. However, there are some injury concerns. Kagan Johannes, who recently joined from Supersport United, will be unavailable for the semi-final due to recovery from an operation. Mankithi mentioned that Johannes is making progress and could be back in training within a few weeks. Meanwhile, Ronwin Williams is also close to returning, having moved past his initial recovery phase. The coach hinted that Williams might be ready for the second leg of the semi-final, depending on his progress. As Sundowns prepare to take on Stellenbosch FC at the Lucas Maripe Stadium, Minkithi and his squad are focused and determined to put on a strong performance. The upcoming match will be a crucial step towards reclaiming the MTN8 title, and the team is ready to give it their all. Sundowns fans, what are your thoughts on the upcoming semifinal? Do you think the new signings will make an impact? Drop your predictions in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more updates on Masandawana.